Ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses and welcome Britain's top light entertainer and singer, Vic Reeves. <laughs> When the moon is in the seventh sky And Jupiter aligns with Mars Peace, I will rule the planets And love will spin the stars It says the dawning of the age of Aquarius The age of Gentlemen, welcome to Big Rigs Big Night Out! Yeah! And thank you, Alan, just shut up! And thank you, Alan Jones, for bringing me on. Uh, no problem, no problem at all. Hey, Alan, it's brilliant to see you. Much work since your voice broke then? Well, not really. I've been selling these burnt shower caps on the estate, you know. <laughs> Good idea, Not going else? so well, really. Yeah. And I've got the oh, I've got these uh, eyebrow wigs. <laughs> you know, hey, hey they're not going hey, so they're badly. They're smart, those, aren't they? Oh, not too bad. Brilliant. But hey. uh, you haven't got out any work out, have you? A bit of work for you. Wouldn't mind, like. Well, I might have something for you. Have you got a pen and paper? I've got some backstage, yeah. Oh, why don't you go and write a book then? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, anyone, Challenge. Play it off. Go on. Oh. <laughs> I'll sort him out later on. I've just spent the last six months smoking pigeons out of pillar boxes with a Barbara of Seville. And it was only in the last week that I did, I did I realise that we both had webbed feet. <laughs> it's uncanny, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It makes you think. Still, I'm pleased to say that the Red Arrows are still flying in formation. <laughs> makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> later on, we'll be, uh, we'll be meeting a Portuguese fisherman who's going to pull all his hair out and uh, grill it with a delicious cheese topping. <laughs> And a woman who grows some moss on stage and then she'll ramble on it and uh, do a bit of grazing. <laughs> That's all for later on, but look at the size of that sausage. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet uh, my assistant for the evening. A big round of applause for Les! <laughs> So, Les, uh, as we found out last week, Les really can't help but raise a smile whenever he sees a spirit level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gorgeous, Les. But I think if we have a look here, we've probably got some more Les facts there. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's great. Les apparently has a terrible inordinate fear of chives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Les. Oh, Les, I can't apologise enough. <laughs> what a strange mind he must have. In fact, I th can we have a listen to his mind now? I've got a microphone here. Let's have a listen. <laughs> it baffles me. <laughs> All right, Les, you, well, go and get things sorted out backstage, ready for us for later on, will you? It's now time to meet my first guest of the evening. Let's all stand, raise our glasses, comb our hair willy-nilly and meet the man with the stick! <laughs> Whoa! Man with the stick! What do we cry when we meet a man with a stick? What's up? Sure right we do. And you're going to reveal that? <laughs> Not yet. I'm just admiring you, your marvellous eyebrow wig. <laughs> <laughs> Put your stick down. We'll find out what's on it later on. Come and join me over here, man with a stick. Go on, just, why don't you stand over here and join me? Let's have a look at that. Yes, what we've got here. Um, El Diablo at the Chiropodists having some lodged pasta removed from his hoof. <laughs> <laughs> El Diablo or the devil. <laughs> a shepherd's eyeball blocking up the exhaust of the mayor's helicopter and... <laughs> 1840 to 1903, didn't you? <laughs> On the back, what have we got here? Bob Dylan running water through a filter cup to catch dust for his little rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and that's the sort of stuff you've been looking at this week. So, um, what else have you been up to? 
I've been killing blackbirds this week, Vic. <laughs> Blimey, how do you kill them? You know, pull the van up, get the carpet and out, pull the string nice and taut and just snip it. Hang on, what? <laughs> what do you mean, cut the string? You know, warm it up a bit with a lamp, pull the string taut over the carpets and just give it a snip. You mean, after you've rung the bell? Yeah. Well, you didn't mention the bell, did you? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Vic. Anyway, what do you do with them? Well, I pulp them up and make lovely blackberry pies, blackberry... Yogurt. Hang on a minute, you said blackbirds. Oh, man. You've made a fool of yourself, haven't you? And, you know, I knew because van stroke, curtain stroke, string stroke, bell is the old gypsy method of catching blackberries. Of course it is. That's right. Hey, Vic, I've just noticed something, then. That's a terrible pimple stroke spot you've got on your neck there. <laughs> You wouldn't let it lie. Would you? <laughs> no, it's it's coming to a bit of a head though. No, you had to mention the spot stroke pimple. You wouldn't let it lie. <laughs> you wouldn't let it lie. Damn it! Take your stick and get out of here. <laughs> and it was so well disguised. <laughs> You'll come running to me if it bursts, won't you? <laughs> no, 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 get out. <laughs> Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, blimey, that spot. My, my hair's getting a bit long. I I'm going to go and take a quick trip to the barbers now, ladies and gentlemen, and in the meantime, uh, as a couple of ramblers will be coming through. Uh, let's have a round of applause for Tinker's Rucksack. They'll be coming through any minute now whilst I'm off to the barbers. Tinker's Rugsack. Well, That's right. rambling groove. That's right, and uh, as you heard there, it's not all walking. No, whilst we're walking through the Arkendale Scarfdale uh, areas, we enjoy doing a little bit of human beatbox, don't we? <laughs> well, you do, well, no, don't you? No, it's not all uh, walking. It's not all. all walking, of course it's not. Let's tell them about some of the things we do get up to. Oh, we, we enjoy playing Let's try that so game, many games. Yes, you know that game you're so good at creatures, we call it, don't oh, we? Oh, it's lovely. Right. I enjoy Come on, game. then, guess this one. Uh, that's a lizard, isn't it, Alan? That's quite right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's this? Oh, I expect that's uh, a pigeon or a blackbird, Alan. No, it's me stroking two beautiful little ponies there. <laughs> oh, Alan. <laughs> you see, you see, Alan tricks me up there as well. You see, it's, it's, not, it's, all it's not all walking. Of course it's not. And uh, we play many other games. You oh, we do. I spy. Tell the them ice about that one, Alan. Oh, we had a funny incident the other day once we were playing the I spy game. And, uh, <laughs> no, didn't we, just? <laughs> I said I spy with my little eyes, something beginning with BB. And I immediately, jumping straight in, I said, oh, it'll be that bed and breakfast hostel over there in Ask <laughs> In Ask Artenthaster. Well, in fact, it was was B.B. King, the blues guitarist, was in the, in the walking party just ahead of us. He was in the party just ahead of us, wasn't he, Alan? Oh, but it's not all walking. No, it isn't, did. <laughs> so, you know, why did you tell him that funny story about the dry stone wall? <laughs> <laughs> go on, tell it. Yeah, no, but, tell it, go on, it's very funny. Well, what's happened was, I was, uh, we were both out rambling on a scarf and garth, and then uh, I uh, clambered over a dry stone wall, and uh, I was a little startled, wasn't I, Alan? You were startled. I was, I was a little startled by a pair of mating swans just over the other side. <laughs> And, uh, unfortunately, I, uh, caught my sweetbreads between two of the stones, <laughs> uh, stretching them slightly, that's right, I'll do this. It, it was so funny, and of course it's not all stretched sweetbreads. <laughs> no, it and I, I, I think one way we can sum up what Tinker's Rucksack's all about is a little song that, uh, yes, I, uh, my, I wrote with Alan's wife in the extension that we built. <laughs> and, uh, why don't you just kick off, Alan? All right, then. 
I remember the summer of 75. I was your husband and, and you were my, my wife. <laughs> we lived in a tent made of parsley and sage, and we looked at each other and smiled. Oh, oh, oh. I played the drums whilst, whilst you played the flute. Crash, bang, wallop, and root to toot toot. <laughs> you played an egg of an enormous size in the summer of 75. Four reflections of you in the waterfall and cascading through my mind. All reflections of you still waters run deep in the summer of 75. <laughs> We sleep in an orchard on a tapestry rug and drink fine mead from an old Saxon jug. We gazed in wonder as Frampton came alive in the summer of 75. Ooh. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, if you're away on your holidays this week, or this year, in fact, as I am, what do you do with all those household items that are left dormant in your house? Well, I've got a... T what are you doing there? I'm sold this lemon up. Hey, good idea. Thanks. <laughs> good idea that for the things that are lying about in your house. Why not, uh, as I've done, take the old washing-up bowl, <laughs> fill it full of some of that tilted ice and put a little uh, cat in it, um, stick a load of felt pens out the top of it there, <laughs> and would have put a bit more ice in there, there we are, lovely, and, uh, I'm going to take it off now, all right? All right, OK, thanks. <laughs> and, uh, I've signed... My, mine's been signed by Lord Hailsham. <laughs> Pop it outside your, your, the front of your house and you've got an ideal burglar deterrent for the week... <laughs> the week ahead. Well, you're probably wondering, why is Les there with a gun? Well, that's because my next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is an animal. A big round of applause for Alan Davis and the cheeky foul-mouthed fox. <laughs> Isn't he terrific? Hello, Alan. You stink, you. <laughs> Blimey. So, uh, Alan, what have you been up to this week? I've been collecting twigs for me nest, if it's any of your business. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Alan. Hang on a minute. Nest, nest, nest. What's this? Don't uh, foxes live in boroughs? I do, man. The London borough of Lewisham. <laughs> <laughs> He is an odorous and lecherous, a filthy and a treacherous, ignorant and slanderous, coniferous and scandalous, cheeky little fox with an odour that is similar to yeast. And yet I love him dearly, and I hope that he'll stay with me. I love him so dearly, and I caress him tenderly. Shall we dance? Gobblers! <laughs> Thank you, Alan! <laughs> hey, Les, Les! It's all right, it's only his leg. It's not dangerous. Off you go, Les. Take the gun off. <laughs> Feed the birds, top and sabag. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I reckon that the make... I say, make the punishment fit the crime. Oh, blimey, Les. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone go and say to him? I say, make the punishment fit the crime. If you've stolen a car, you must be made to get into the car, stay there for 15 years, and then when your 15 years is up, up honk the horn and a couple will come and let you out. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I don't see what the problem is. And talking of cars, I put so much petrol in my car the other day, I couldn't get in it. <laughs> anyway. Ah, you sell a man well, it's, uh, no, it's uh, about time to take a look at some of those acts of tomorrow again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, as we take a trip to Novelty Island. <laughs> and uh, 
Bingo, ladies and gentlemen. Act number one at Novelty Island is Graham Lister with Nibbles the Comedy Duck. Graham is a 40 year old chemist. His favourite memory stroke reminiscence is the time he spent as the lead singer in Dex's Midnight Runners. <laughs> and his favourite aroma is liver stroke woodwork. Graham, what have you got for us this week? Reeves, this week I have for you Nibbles the Comedy Duck. <laughs> Graham, you were on last week with another poor actor. I you? was, I didn't win. Oh. There was no reason for my defeat apart right. from your own bigotry, Reeves. No, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> All right, then, what's, what's Nibbles the Comedy Duck going to do? Nibbles the Comedy Duck will regurgitate shrimps on his. <laughs> you recite any of the Ten Commandments. All right. All right. If you don't recite them, Reeves, right. he will not regurgitate. OK. <laughs> um, thou shalt not kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thou shalt... Very poor. <laughs> thou shalt not cover thy neighbour's wife. It's covered, but I said covered. <laughs> oh, very poor indeed. Thou shalt not funny about on a yacht. <laughs> oh, Reeves, you had to do it, didn't you? Oh, the typical thing. Oh, I was well. I was heading for victory there, Reeves, and you're. <laughs> you're such a hit. You probably don't know the Ten Commandments. It wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I do apologise. Act number two, act number two at Novelty Island tonight is The Singing Mound. The Singing Mound is owned by Melanie Moonbeams of Stardust Cottage, Happiness Hollow. She found, the, found it under the rainbow by a buttercup tree. Shut up! And The Singing Mound, look at that, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it terrific? Let's see if we can get it started. Come on, you jolly, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much to Singing Mound. Off it goes. I think he deserves a bit of a ring on the handbag for that one. Act number three is Donald O'Mara, Mr. 45. A chemist with the Royal Opera, he enjoys putting children's shoes and gloves on gay posts. 45 years old, he's been married 45 years. Howdy born... doody, little fella! <laughs> born 45, born oh, in, in London. Will you shut up? I'm reading out your. <laughs> All right, this is Mr. 45, is it? Yes, hold the piece there, Reeves. What are you going to do? Romantic regret, bit of a ladies' man, he wanted you all to know. Mm. Well, I'm going to uh, put spit 45 piece through a 45 RPM record. <laughs> Whilst at an angle of 45 degrees. Brilliant! Oh, degrees. Yes, Let's 45 go. degrees, romantic. Just right, commence then. the lowering. You want the peas? Here's the peas, yes. <laughs> Lower! Lower! Come on, let him <laughs> Very poor indeed. Act number four, the final act at Novelty Island tonight is Maureen Newton, a woman with a 15 foot long arm. She's a disgraced chemist and now runs her own gutter cleaning business. She enjoys loosening the foot, foot rests on police helicopters as they fly overhead. Her favourite smell is that of a weather vane. Come on, into the paddock. Come on, into the. You've got to get in or you're disqualified. Further. Come on, into the paddock. You're not going to do it. Oh, sorry. Off you go, take it away then. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Never give up, do you? 15 foot long arm, sorry, didn't get into the paddock. Disqualification. <laughs> so, there we are, Novelty Island tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And if we go over here, I think we've got a, a little seagull which has been sitting on the roof judging tonight's acts <laughs> with the Mayor of Casterbridge. <laughs> and uh, probably about to fly in right now. There we go. <laughs> with tonight's winner attached to its leg there. And tonight's winner is, if I can just get it off and read it, very small piece of paper. The, tonight's winner is the Singing Mound! There it goes.
Well, that was some of the stars of yesteryear, but what about... I'm sorry, the stars of tomorrow. How about an act of today? Please raise your hands in the air, <laughs> comb your eyes, and welcome Rick Astley! <laughs> What a lovely night, what a nice treat. <laughs> you know, you know, nobody anyway. knew it, everyone knew it was you, no one thought it was Rick Astley. Hey, well, I knew it was Reeves in a way you're behaving, breaking it up like that. I'm really rather upset. <laughs> oh, just cast it away, cast the axe away, put your coat down, let's get on with it, get Reeves on the camera. Oh, I'm so, I do apologise. <laughs> yes? oh, no, I really am sorry. Yeah, come here, come on. Oh, that's nice. No, we've had a brilliant time. Do you remember the time when we were over here? And you were, you were oh, and I did Mr. 45. Yeah, and you remember, you remember when you were over here and you were, oh, had your daft hat on? Oh, no, it was brilliant. That everyone was... Hey, what's up? Leave that! What? What? What, 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 what have I done now? You said you were sorry. What have I done now? Where do you... You've got rid what? of that pimp stroke spot. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't let that lie, would you? <laughs> you didn't let it lie. I would have let it lie. You wouldn't let it lie. You wouldn't let it lie. On the stage, I'm concerned, Rich. You wouldn't let it lie anywhere. It's not a pimple stroke spot. It's a pimple stroke boil. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Songwriter, write me a song on your trumpet, make it a good song, so that everyone in the world can sing along, yeah. Oh, Mr. Painter, I do as a picture. 